Hey there, how are you doing? Great to see you. Well, today I'm doing a topic of good and bad covers of record albums. Um, I got inspired to do this by a great friend who's in the VC, Stripey Rambles. You need to watch his channel. Stripey has got a fantastic collection. He's just got such terrific enthusiasm. Um, I've been watching Stripey for well over, ah, probably well over two years now. He's probably been on the VC. He's just a great guy, fantastic guy. And he came up with uh, his idea of what was the worst record cover album ever. And then he flipped it and said, what's the best record cover ever? Uh, yeah, this was a lot harder than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Stripey uh, put out a good one. I think I could hit a good album pretty easily. But if it's a bad album cover, like a lot of us, if you don't like the cover, you normally just don't buy the album. You know, so it's like lots of times for me, that'll entice me to buy a record is just because of the jacket. You know, if it's got a real cool picture on the jacket of of the band or something like that, it's really awesome. I really will be intrigued by it. But, you know, even if I like the band and it's a black and white picture or it's just a so-so picture, it'll be on my list but not high up there like a lot of records that I want to get right away. So lots of times jackets do determine our buying impulse on how we buy and don't buy. So this video is for that, and a lot of these you'll probably agree with, and a lot of these you probably won't agree with, but this is just my pick of my vinyl albums of best and worst. So what do you say we get started? And I kind of mixed it up just a little bit different than Stripey. Instead of doing all my ones that I didn't like first, and then all the ones I do like, I'm going kind of back and forth. So just doing it as a little bit of fun and different. So to start off, this is... If you watch my channel, you know Beetle Brad is really into this album, Sgt. Pepper. This is my awesome go-to album of all albums, is Sgt. Pepper. Absolutely love it. So this is, and the cover, I mean, look at the cover. How, how can you not love Sgt. Pepper? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let you look at that for a second. You look at this album, and even if you're not a Beatles fan, you can, you can kind of get lost in just looking at this. I mean, you've got movie icons you've got tv people you've got you know laurel and hardy like i said movie you've got marilyn monroe you've got all kinds of different people in here you know i could, I could go on and on you know um james dean you know there's tarzan there's the beatles themselves so you know you kind of kind of look at this and you kind of get really into it you can kind of go yeah i could really see it and then the other cool thing for beetle brad is What's Beetle Brad like? Come on, participation of my video, and you guys have to. <laughs> I love colored vinyl, and there we go. Look at that red. Sweet, isn't it? Yeah, come on now. That's pretty darn sweet. Yeah, so Sgt. Pepper, my, my first one right off of the top. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for for the first one. Okay, now this one I don't even... I could care less about this album. <laughs> this album is terrible. The cover's horrible. The music's horrible. And I don't even put a plastic cover outer thing for this record because I don't care. <laughs> Dimension 3 is the name of this. And what a stupid cover that is. Oh, come on. You got to admit, that's a stupid cover. <laughs> it's all instrumental and actually it was one of my one of my brother's records so it's not even mine so you're, I know you're gonna say so why did you buy it I didn't buy it boink 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 pointing at the record I didn't buy it because I know you guys are gonna write to me why did you buy it so yeah dimension three <sighs> this is back in the days this album was made for like testing your stereo to say you know left speaker ping pong you know, left speaker, right speaker, you know, different stuff like that. Dementia. It ought to be dimension. Dementia. <laughs> That's what I've got right now. All right, next album. I really like this. Um, this was a really a great TV show in America, and they made 
all time all kinds of memorabilia and all kinds of stuff but this is just a really iconic very cool from uh cover it's man from uncle and look at that isn't that neat i mean the artwork on that you can't duplicate artwork like this on a cd it just doesn't go it just won't hold up but look at that isn't that just oh come on it's fantastic you know you love it <laughs> man from uncle i mean he got the car in here and he got the the figure the people you know and all that all you know it's just just a fantastic with the with the original record um i won't go through all the records of these because yeah it's on a rca just real quick you can pause on your own if you wanted to see the rca was this the rca doc that's a terrific cover okay i really like this band a lot and that's kind of a uh kind of a problem because i do like this band uh tommy james and the shondells i think they're great i really like them and, and you know i've got several of their albums i like the uh music the arrangements i like the band a lot um and to show this one is the greatest hits but this cover just it just doesn't go anywhere it just doesn't show anything it doesn't really do anything for me um I really, I know it's got a picture of the band. Eh, so, you know, I mean, a full picture of the band, maybe them, I don't know, in a, in a colorful garden or, or something like that, or, or standing in the middle of um, a recording studio or something. But, you know, this was just poor, poorly done as a cover. Come on now. Here's the record. Just, yeah, just really... Bad. <laughs> I was going to use a, not a very nice word, but anyway. This one is an awesome cover. A fantastic, iconic American cover. That's all I'm going to say. It's still in the original shrink wrap and it plays beautifully. How can you not love that cover? That is just, yeah, not going to say anything more. There we go. <laughs> enjoy I'm not going to say anything more so to counteract that album <laughs> this is a promotional copy it's still pretty cool I like it and I get the guy's point but it's just just ugh look at that ah dumped in spaghetti come on ugh really and I bet you to do this cover is probably cold spaghetti. So that's even worse. But come on, look at that, look at that, look at that. Isn't that just nasty looking? Ugh. Ugh. Hope there aren't any little kids watching. Oh, my goodness. Censorship. Ugh. 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 Gross. Okay. Got my point. <laughs> okay. Now we're... All right. You're going to uncover your eyes. It's safe. It's clear. This album... Now, this is a rock cool fantastic cover this one is like oh my gosh this is an album cover look at that the rolling stones ah <sighs> yeah that is just really cool let me look at that same color you got mick just just you know rocking he's getting ready to dance like mick always does mick mick always brings it and the rest of the band is just just really into this this is just an iconic fantastic looking cover I really like that a lot. It's, like I said, I, I'm not seeing too many pictures of that in color. You may say, oh, Beetle Brad, I've never seen it. Well, it's a bootleg. Bootlegs, I think, have a tendency to give you really cool covers. And cool vinyl. Look at that. White vinyl. Oh, come on. Sweet, right? Yeah, that's really awesomely cool. A very cool cover by the Rolling Stones. Um, yeah, kind of plain Jane on the back, but the front cover rocks. Just really rocks. All right, this next cover is a horrible, stupid, stupid cover. Come on, people. What were you thinking when you came out with this one? I really love this artist. And, you know, we just had a celebration about this artist's uh, passing and all that kind of stuff. I love Buddy Holly. He's a tremendous singer, tremendous artist definitely definitely taken out before his prime of life or even his beginning of his career awesome awesome buddy holly but i do not like this cover 
a moment of silence because I'm letting you take it in. Come on, can't you come up with something else besides a spray-painted wall of Buddy Holly lives? Uh, yeah, it might be where the, the crash site was of this wall, or it might be where Buddy's house is, or a wall along that. I really don't know. For those of you that are Buddy Holly people, you know much better of where this was taken. But come on, you could have come up with a much better picture than this. Really? Oh my gosh, that's just, that's just, ugh. <laughs> All right, this next album is a rocking, fantastic cover. I love this. This is one of Beetle Brad's, one of my favorite covers. Oh, come on, you got to get in this with cover, this cover with me as well. You got to, you got to admit, there has been some other artists that have even copied this iconic rock and roll cover, Elvis Presley. Now, come on, that is an awesome, awesome cover. I've been to Graceland. I've seen that suit, that gold lame suit. Just a fantastic suit. Just a fantastic album. This whole album rocks like you won't believe it. If you don't have this in your collection, you are really missing a fun, fantastic treat. You really need to just, just listen to this album. You may not like Elvis. I understand. You know, a lot of people are like, ah, Elvis was for the 50s. He's blah. Elvis really rocked in the 60s and 70s. Let me tell you, this album, this album will kick. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, it will. And look at that cover. Oh, yeah. An awesome, awesome cover to get. Ooh, I'm getting bored with this, aren't you? Okay, to prove I'm even more bored, Greatest Hits album. Yeah, it's going for it. It's great. What a stupid cover. James Taylor. I know he's just trying to make a point of, you know, Greatest Hits and kind of doing the whole... James Taylor, uh, you know, kind of just, just explaining, you know, the greatest hits. But what a, just a boring cover. Just a cover you just sort of say, I'm not even going to buy it, even if it is the greatest hits. <laughs> you know? It's just, it's just boring. It's just boring. <laughs> okay, now this album is so cool. I love this album. I get lost Listening to this album, I really get lost, but I really just really love the album cover. And I start off by telling you the name of the album, and it's called Magic Bus. Yeah, The Who. Oh, isn't that just sweet? I mean, what a what a 60s iconic looking cover to, to kind of show into the 60s of psychedelic. You're not going to have that in 2020. You can't reproduce this on a CD. Yeah, it's out there on a CD, but you look at the CD and you're like, oh, okay, I kind of like The Who. You know, I'll listen to it. I might like it. You buy the album, you'll find out this album really kicks. It really does. And what a fantastic. I mean, it's just it, the sound quality, the vinyl, original pressing. What a cover. What a cover. I mean, The Who. I mean, come on. You can't get much better than that, can you? The Who? I mean, the Stones album was cool, yeah, and the Who is cool, too. Sgt. Pepper, we got some cool covers out there. Don't buy the CDs. Enjoy the fullness of the albums, except for this album. Don't buy this one. <laughs> I wish I put up one of those blinking things. Warning, warning, warning. Lousy cover, lousy cover, warning. John and Yoko. If I wasn't a Beatles collector, I wouldn't even touch this album. For those of you who don't know the album, this is the original brown, original paper bag. Uh, they're both naked on the front and back cover. I don't need to see John naked. Oh, come on. And, and, and I could literally throw up by seeing Yoko as well. Come on now. This, this album really is bad. And then to make it even worse... They, they, they destroy it by putting it on Apple. And then they put this album out, Two Virgins, and the album is horrible. Just horrible. The music, there isn't really music, it's just just noise. And I need to be like, oh my gosh, Beetle Bread, you've chosen two Beatle albums. Yeah. You know, the Beatles, you know, solo-wise, John, John's album of that choice of that album, no. No. Don't do it. Don't buy it. Don't show it. 
<laughs> Don't listen to it. You'll 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 pitch it in the trash. Okay, this album was done in the early '60s, and I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana. For a lot of you who don't know, and I was really my parents were part of the Indianapolis 500, and so it brings back a lot of memories. But the color of this album really shows some fantastic artwork and just great color. Look at that. I mean, you got the you got the race car down below there going going for the checkered flag. He's he's whipping right through there. Just a beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. I really like that. It's very it's one of those that you could frame up on your wall and say, "Yeah, that's really artsy. It's it's early 60s artwork, you know, just yeah, yeah, you know, just beautiful." I mean, come on, you know, this is great. It's really good. I mean, it really doesn't have music per se. It's uh, the race cars back in those days racing around the track, and that's what the album is, is the racing around the track. So, yeah, it's kind of fun and different. You don't, you don't find albums like that today. You know, you don't hear race cars on CDs. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, another Greatest Hits album. Love this band. I showed a video probably, uh, I don't know, two, three videos back of this band. This band I like a lot. I really do. Terrific band. Like I said, Greatest Hits. I'm building this up because I do not like the cover. No, no. You could have done better than this, Peter Noon. Hermits, Hermits. Greatest Hits. Okay, yeah, we're going for Greatest Hits, but uh, just just a, you know, psychedelic blah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, you may, you may agree with me and may agree or disagree, but blah. Just blah. <laughs> really. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, what an album cover. Oh, boy, this was fun. This was great to do. Stripey Rambles had a great idea. He had a terrific thought of, of best and worst album covers of all times. And this was just great. So well, this is just a fun video to show you some of the other vinyls uh, that I like and don't like. So uh, I'm not criticizing the bands, not criticizing the jackets. I'm just having fun with what I don't agree with or what I do like. And it's just my personal opinion, just my opinion. So I'm just having fun and showing you one ones that I do and don't like. So thank you, Stripey. You're a great man, great lad, great, great guy. Watch his channel, Stripey Rambles. He has a lot of up, just great vinyl to show you. And uh, he's a great, great guy, too. All right, so thank you so very much for watching my channel. And as I say on my channel... I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See you later.